Hey everyone, this is Miss Dressel. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to recreate the still life. And we're gonna use pencil to start. We're gonna use line and we're gonna use this technique breaking it up into a grid. So one thing that we wanna do is find kind of the center point of this still life. One way that you can do that is actually by kind of folding up the paper because the paper is symmetrical. All of these lines should be symmetrical or at least pretty close. That's going to help me find the center point and I'm going to use my pencil to just draw it right on top of the picture. So you can kind of eyeball finding the center point here or one thing you can do is kind of look at this line and look at this line and try and line it up in the paper. So I can kind of like bend the paper and look to see. This is kind of like a cheating way to get it done. So try and eyeball up those lines because I'm looking inside of the paper and seeing that these kind of these corners are matching up. So before I crease that, I kind of look, where is this corner? And I try to line it up and I try to line it up. Where is this corner so that I can really crease it? That way, when I open it up, I can kind of draw it and make the grid. So this is the first breaking up of the grid. We just do like a T right down the middle and across. That's the first easy part of breaking it up. Then we're gonna break each one of these boxes up again. So you can do that the same way, folding the paper. I kind of like that to double check the measurement. You can eyeball it, it's somewhere around here. Somewhere through here is the middle, but I'm gonna just do it by folding, just double checking, kind of look, see if I can line these corners up. Right, this is gonna be my midpoint, somewhere right here. Something like this, so right around here is the main point. And then the same over here. This side, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and kind of go. This is an easy way to do it too, without folding. Without folding, you're gonna be able to kind of like bring your fingers together, right? This is one way to help you find the midpoint by without folding. So I bring my fingers together and I do it slow. This is gonna be kind of the midpoint. Then I'm gonna go here. This midpoint is kind of like somewhere like here, right? I'm not using a ruler. I'm just kind of doing it by eye. This is a way to get my body ready to start drawing. I'm just drawing the grid up here. All right, the rest of the grid. So now we have eight boxes, right? We're gonna have to make sure we copy those boxes down here because this is where we're gonna copy to recreate. We're gonna recreate in this box. So I have to copy this grid. So I folded this line here, right? So I'm gonna draw this vertical line. Then I'm gonna kind of eyeball, how do I find this? Kind of break, find the corners and go, kind of like, I like to breathe out so I can go, kind of do it slow. And that helps me find where is this middle point, right? Kind of where's the middle? Kind of is like, if you're not too sure, just double check and make the dot. Right, and then we're gonna go, kind of make the dot, and then we know this this line is gonna be going across here. You could use a ruler. You could even use, if you're struggling to make a straight line, right, look, I could take another pencil, and that can be a tool to help me with drawing this line going across. So I'm gonna look and try and maybe, maybe I have a pencil that's a little bit longer even. Yes, this red one is really long. This pencil's maybe a little bit better to help me draw the line. So, I'm gonna, kind of use this to help me draw the line, make it straight down here. I could fold the paper, but this is, you know, another technique of helping me draw this line again. I just want to be able to sketch it out. So here's my line, it's going across. All right, we're gonna bring these lines down. All right, this is our grid. This is gonna help us draw this glass still life. I like this still life image because with color pencils, we can do blending and glazing, right? We have a red glass vase, it's kind of tall cylinder shape with a small opening. We have orange vase, it's really round, kind of more like a sphere kind of coming at us, small opening. Then this one is kind of, kind of yellow, kind of maybe yellow orange. It's got kind of a cone with the oval opening, like an ellipse, and then a sphere at the bottom, kind of like this, but smaller. And then we have the green, tallest vase it comes so high it's very close to the top of the composition 
right? And then we have these two blue ones, the lighter blue, the darker blue, kind of like a, like a cool blue and like a warmer blue, maybe kind of almost pulling indigo. And then we have the violet short, really kind of wide, taking up the center of the composition. This one's in the foreground, right? Then these are kind of in the middle ground and in the background, we've got these kind of taller ones. There's a nice hierarchy of shapes in this composition with all of these forms of the glass vases. And we're gonna start to map them in, right? Another thing you can do, if this is even looking too complicated, remember we can break these boxes down too, right? If that helps you, if you're really struggling, This nice vignette comes across. We're gonna shade all of this background with pencil. We're gonna do all of this inside with colored pencil. So if it helps you even more as we're going to break the boxes down, that might be good for you. But I'm gonna start with this one, right? So I'm gonna break it down one more time. Break this one up in half, in half, right? That's gonna help me get this corner really nice and neat. So I'm gonna bring it down, right? Break it up. Break it in half. It's kind of looking kind of like a flag or like a, some kind of windows. But look at this. We've got an ellipse at the top here. That's what I'm going to draw first. Ellipse is just kind of like oval shape. Like that. Skinny oval. Then it's going to come down. It's like a slant in. Comes down, down, down. Through this box even to here. If it helps you, right, mark that line, mark that line. You can even, if you're struggling with the angle, get another pencil, line it up. Get that angle right. That way you can just copy this line, right? Bring it right down. That's another technique. Look at that line, match up the angle, right? We knew the ellipse was like this, right? It's horizontal line, right? Bring it down. I think even the space here maybe is not matching. This versus this is new, bring it down. This needs to be more shallow. All right, but other angle, let's use that technique, all right? Look at that line, draw it, draw it on your paper. Take another pencil, match up that angle, right? Look at that angle with the pencil. You can pick up the angle, pick it up, bring it down. Well, bam, you can't fudge that up. If you just copy the angle with the pencil, you can bring it right down. As long as you have a steady hand, look at that. Whew, that's sick. We're getting that good. All right, we've got our, our vase coming in. That's looking good. Then we're gonna have to start that oval shape, kind of cylinder with the cone. We've got this cone on top. We've got the sphere at the bottom, right? What's the size of that? Sometimes it's helpful Go over it many, 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 many times. You're getting your hand used to making that size circle, right? Bring it down. Do it soft. That way you can kind of get it right. Look at this box. We could even break this box down if we need to. Remember, break out down the box into like little pluses. That's going to help you match it. Break it down. Little plus. Right? Where is this curve? It's like, I got was pretty close. I was pretty close. Okay. I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit more so you guys can see it better. Right? All right, let's see. Can we, can we get closer? Okay. You focus. You focus. We're good. Okay, you guys can see that. You need a tinge. No, other way. Other way. There we go. Write this down a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So now we got to get the rest of this sphere. The pencil in it in. Okay, it's even going to go outside this box a little bit. It's going to come somewhere just like that. Just a time. There, first vase, drawn, done. First vase, started in this box, right? We got these two boxes, we broke it down pretty good. I'm gonna say the next one we're gonna do is this orange one right here, okay? So we're gonna have to break down these boxes, right? And then we're gonna draw this green one. So that's, that's the steps. This one, this one, this one. We're gonna work our way across the whole composition to get it all drawn in, okay? So, if you need a pause, you can pause it. That way you can get in this cone, right? We drew an ellipse, we made a cone, we matched some of the angles using a pencil and then bring it down, and then we break it down with a little extra plus and we sketch it in. Ba-bam, we're done. 
All right, we're gonna have to break down the rest of the boxes as we go, right? It's really helpful, this technique of breaking down the boxes with extra pluses. I think it really helps make the composition easier to see all the intersecting lines because this one, this one box is kind of busy. There's like a lot of overlapping here, right? We've got the orange one is overlapping, the green, we're gonna have some overlapping here. We gotta try and make it look like it's in the right basis. So we're gonna do this curve first, right? Trace it in the picture. Take your pencil, go back and forth. Just go over it a couple times, get your hand used to that line. And then you're gonna bring it down, right? Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. All the way to here, right? You got this, it's like a little rainbow arch. You got this, okay. We're gonna break down these two boxes because we've already broken down this box. That's why I did this part first, right? We finished all these, these boxes are done now. Check, checked off, checked off the list. We're gonna break this down. Break it down. All right, so we're gonna finish this one. Look, at it's in this part right here. The opening of this with the ellipse is pretty much not an ellipse, it's just kind of straight and then coming in. So right here, right? We're gonna have this like here, coming across, almost kind of like cursive, like parenthesis, parenthesis, kind of like connected at the top, like the, the pie. All right, we're gonna bring that over. This is gonna come down, down. Right over to here, it's gonna come over. Right, we're finishing. It's gonna be like the opposite of this, basically. Symmetrical. We're gonna bring it up. Right, we don't want it to be lopsided looking. If my grid is getting kind of wonky, my picture's gonna start to get a little wonky. I can see that my, my grid's not totally perfect, but we're getting it close. That's, that's what matters. We're trying to get the shapes close, okay. Then, this one, drawn. This orange vase is all done. It's got kind of like a straight, kind of a curve coming around. I'm gonna smooth that edge a little bit later. And then we're gonna to start to draw the green vase, right? This green vase is really tall, but I'm gonna start kind of where the overlapping is because that's the most difficult part. I just wanna get that out of the way. So it's intersecting kind of like here, coming down, coming over, right? And then it comes, if I even, looks like a little bit this way. Let's just get this one marked in. Then we're gonna come up. This one's kind of like a, like a, a super tall beaker or something. And then we've got our little lips at the top. I'm gonna say this one's like super skinny because it's small and it only comes over this way a little bit. There we go, okay, good. Then that one's done, green one, all done. We're gonna draw the red one because we're just going across. I think the hardest part is where the red and the purple overlap because this is like super dark. This is kind of like the darkest colors of the picture. So, all right, over here, we've got the edge of the ellipse. If I need to break this box down, let me do that first. I don't want to skip that step. I almost skipped it. Let's break it down these last couple of boxes, right? One section at a time. We got this. We got our boxes. All right, we're sketched in. Now we can start mapping it out, right? So if you need to use that angle trick, remember you can use that angle trick. If you like that one line the pencil up kind of like another not the drawing pencil we need to line up this one use the colored pencil because i'm going to draw the line with the pencil line up that angle and then you can kind of bring it down right that way you can trace that angle kind of get this one in right here right that angle is something like this and then comes in and over I'm going to have to erase that a little bit. There, we got that. Looking good. Coming over. Great, we could do it again on this side too if you like the angle trick. Line the angle of the color pencil up with the edge of that, right? And bring it down. That way you can use the pencil. Right, look at how easy that makes that. Woo! I love that trick. That's a good trick. Line the pencil up with the angle. Right, and if you got good steady hands, bring it down. That way you can kind of match that angle and check check your angle. Then I'm gonna bring this over. So right, I didn't break this box up. Let me break this box up, there we go. So this 
shape kind of comes down. It's somewhere down here. Right, and then we're going to put the purple one in the front because it's in the foreground. It's overlapping this one. So, right, if you need to even break it down even more, you can. I, I, I would say that one might make it a little too busy. But if you really need to, you can, right? That means that that's going to be like here somewhere. That oval for the ellipse on this one. Right. Then we have that coming over. Ooh, it's, oh, it's in there. It's more like this. It's skinny. Is it? Is it that skinny? No, I think maybe this is. There we go. Make it a little wider. This is going to come down. It's going to come way over, like here. Right? This one's going to come way over, like basically right in between all this. And come across really close to the bottom. Really close to the bottom of the composition right here. All right, these, this one's like a funny shape. I kind of like the funny shape. We're gonna, we're gonna start to map that one in, right? These boxes are all broken down. We're ready to go to town. So just kind of follow this line. I like that the shape is kind of like unusual. As long as your shapes are kind of symmetrical, even if they're a little bit off, it'll be okay. It'll be okay, right? I'm gonna, now I'm gonna try to just make a symmetry in my drawing. Make a symmetry in my drawing. This area here, we got to start drawing this other base because this part of the line kind of gets skewed because the glasses are overlapping. So this part like kind of gets ooh, like a little fun housey. It goes like ooh, in your drawing, kind of like weird. Because this vase is coming in front. This one is, ooh, ooh. get your hand used to it. Right? And then we gotta break down this last box for help. Break it down for the help. Makes it easier when you use the techniques. All right, and right, if you really even need to break it down again, so you can figure out, yeah, it's down here somewhere. That ellipse is somewhere over here. This needs to be bigger. Right, I'm happy with that. So now that we got all the drawing and that kind of hard stuff out of the way, the next thing that we're gonna do is just get some basic colored pencils. You don't need too many. We just need, you know, one or two of each color because we're gonna start off with coloring all of this stuff in with colored pencils. So I'm gonna just start off with red, right? If you've used really heavy pencil and you need to like go over some of your lines now to make it nice and soft so it's ready to be colored in that's something that you can do so that you can get ready to color it in and i like to really erase the grid lines inside of all of this so like kind of gentle if you wanted to outline it with a marker first i guess you could do that but i'm trying to keep it simple with just colored pencil for this one so kind of focusing on just erasing the grid inside of all of the vases and stuff because now everything's in spots where I like it. So inside of the vases, the grid, we're going to just try and like gently erase the grid and all that stuff. Make it pretty now. Clean it up. Okay, get a little eraser. Make it pretty. Nice and clean. No more grid lines. Just some nice clean looking vases. All right. Ready, ready to go. Now, if you want to do the pencil shading for the vignette part of the background first, you can. I think sometimes that helps so that you have like areas kind of more defined from the background and then the negative space is kind of also filled in. But I'm gonna do the colored pencil first because I wanna be able to do all that blending and glazing. So, brush away any little dusties, you know, double check if there's any areas that you really need to clean up any more lines. I think this one, because I'm going to do the red one first. 
just go a little soft over the sky like that okay so i'm going to just take a red colored pencil and i'm going to go over the whole shape and just like even just go over the whole shape i'm not worried about the purple right i'm just going to pretend purple's not there don't worry about the purple one because it's colored pencils we're glazing they're going to be it's glass if they're overlapping in the picture they're going to be overlapping in the colors with the layering there's some kind of like gunk underneath on my counter scrape it oops that's making it have a little texture all right so if i want to take this and make it a little darker what i'm going to do i can take a little bit of the blue and kind of push it in around the edges only only around the edges because i want to make it kind of like nice and soft looking i don't want it to be too harsh looking all these areas that look really dark i'm going to just go over like this a little bit soft not pressing hard do it gentle right we're trying to make these nice color pencils blend in no like hard edges there we go right soft and i'm gonna switch and get a different red one more different red and go here and just like little like scumbling like little spiral get that in there all right all right next i'm gonna do the violet one because i don't want to lose it in the design so i'm gonna find like a violet color pencil and i'm gonna start to go over this parts of the neck because I don't want to lose any part of this drawing. I just spent a lot of time mapping out where everything goes. So we're going to make sure that we don't lose it. We're going to shade it in. We're going to color around, right? Just soft, gentle. Okay. I know this is like a little scratchy, but I don't want to make this too dark. I'm going to switch to the lighter purple. This one's kind of like a like a lavendery color, but I want to start building up some of the purple because this one's going to be kind of dark, right? And there are some areas in here like that have a highlight that you might want to be like, how can I bring that out? How can I make that look like a highlight? Well, I can kind of go in there with this lighter one like that. And then I have the really this darker purple. But like you can just do one purple, right? You don't need, like you don't even really have to do purple. You could do this different colors too. I'm recreating the still life, right? This kind of idea of like the glass is layered on top of each other. You could do it with different colors, but it's a nice way to show how to make like a red violet. That looks cool. That does look cool. All right, we're gonna speed this up a little bit. Right, I want to make this a little darker right around the edges. Okay, that one's purple. Okay, next we'll do this orange one. We're going to move along. We're going to get some orange. I'm even going to say pull, like, pull that really light red again. Yeah, this one's good for this darker parts. We got the edges outlined. We're gonna go kind of gentle, soft. Yeah, we'll fill it in on this one. Okay, so speeding it up. Let's try to get this one like all filled in. Right, and then there's some areas like in here where there's highlights. I'm gonna go in with yellow. Right, this other one is all yellow, so I'm just gonna color this hard with yellow first. And then we'll go back in maybe with a little bit of the orange on the side of this one to help make it look a little bit more darker and shaded. Okay. Right, pressure, pressure, just keep coloring over that, blend it nice. And even if you want to, you need like peach you can use to help lighten it up. And then I'm going to go back in with like the orange on the side over here. Now that I have like a nice base of yellow, it's like barely picking this up, but it looks pretty. Just help make it soft. 
making it soft, just making it pretty. Yeah, you can go over this edge a little bit too. Maybe right here. And then I'm just gonna take this like red a little bit and go just, just kind of like pop that in. Okay. Now it's time for green. Moving on, we're gonna do the green one. So we got maybe like a lighter green, a darker green, or you might even have like three different values of green, right? These look pretty shaded with like a couple different of the same. If yours is a little not too sharp, maybe you sharpen it. Just gentle with my color pencils. These are, are like the good high quality Prismacolor, you know? You want to use those ones nicely. Then we're going to shade it. Ooh, I just broke it. Maybe this one's had a little bit of worse, worse days. Yikes. Let's try to sharpen that one again. Maybe I'm even too rough with sharpening it. Oh no. Let's be gentle. It's a little better. Maybe. Nope, it's just falling apart. I think this colored pencils needs to get a little heated up. I'm gonna try and heat that one up to see. But we'll use this green one. We'll start off with this darker green instead. Yeah, just this one. Apple green. That's a cute name. Apple green. Okay, we're gonna go over apple green. Green. And that's probably why this corner of this vase is so dark because it's got like that green is overlapping a little bit right in there. But kind of reflecting it. Okay. So for this part, because I want to make it kind of light, I'm gonna do cream here. And then I'm gonna do this over. nice all right and then if i want to punch out some of that i'm going to use the darker one okay see i didn't even need that even that was breaking this that comes down this gets dark over here too it is dark here right this like little spot here so god that looks good oh yeah all right these two they're both blue but one is like a little lighter the lighter one this one okay let's do something silly we're gonna take a white colored pencil. Make sure it's kind of sharp, or at least enough that you could draw with. And I'm gonna do this whole one with white first. Okay, we're gonna just, even though it kind of like is overlapping, I'm just gonna do this whole thing with white. Okay. Ooh, I gotta be careful. I can't go, really go over this because it's starting to pick it up and bring it over. All right, we got this. We're down. We're covered. We've done over the lines, or at least we think we've done as close as we can. And then we're gonna take the blue. I'm gonna use like a lighter blue, and I'm not gonna press too hard. I'm gonna be gentle. Yeah, and where I colored with the white, it's like harder. It's like picking up softer. I have to press more to make it really come out dark. Especially because it's this like lighter blue or like this. This is pretty. This is a pretty technique. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back into the darker blue. Okay. I'm gonna go back and the white again. Ooh, yeah, and then making it soft and pretty. How oh, nice. I like that. Okay, cool. It's looking good. Looking good. Making it round. Oh, look how soft and pretty that is. So pretty and blended. Yes. Okay. 
So this other one is like definitely darker. So I don't want to do the exact same technique because this one's also in front. That's why I'm doing this one kind of last also. So let's start off with just this. And then maybe this will glaze back in. But like, how am I going to make it warmer? How am I going to make it warmer without making it like ugly? Hmm. I'm gonna use this one. Just just soft. I know this is like kinda like green, but we're gonna try this. So I sketched that in kind of rougher, but then I'm going to have to go with this over it. This one's coming out, but it's good enough. It's good enough sometimes. Okay, it's good enough. I'm finishing it. I don't, maybe this is not my favorite. Yeah, this part got too dark. Uh, I guess that part looks good. It does look nice. It looks nice, but it doesn't, I don't think it matches the rest of the styles. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm just going to burnish the rest of these with white because that actually looks so much better now. I'm going to go back in with this a little bit. Okay, finishing touches. Finishing touches. We're going to go back in and pop in some of these darker values because I don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose all these nice dark values that I have, especially like in here since I just burnished right over it basically. Oops! All right, let's make this part a little darker. The purple one is so dark. I'm not, I don't want to burnish this one with the white. So, I'm just going to use the darker like that. Okay, that looks better. Vignette, darker corners, so shade the corners. If it helps to turn the paper, you can do that. Why not? All right, and then you can just use your finger. You can use a tissue.
Okay. So the last thing I want to do is kind of like add in the little reflection on the bottom. So I'm going to just do it with a pencil, right? So I'm going to look here. Where's the bottom and kind of just go like right there is like a little shadow from the glass, right? There's a little shadow from the glass, especially right around the bottom of the glass, like underneath the bottom of the glass. We want to try and make sure that the little highlight, the little shadow, we get that in there with a pencil. So then we're going to bring this one and they're overlapping, right? These little crisscrossing lines, this is just like reflections on the ground, right? This one's here, this one's here. The bottoms around the edges, right? So this is adding in some tone. And if you even need to on some of these bottles, right? If you feel like some of these areas need a little bit of like, make it more gray, make it seem a little bit more muted, you could always go in with a pencil on top too. Maybe that's what I need to do for this part because I kind of lost this. Bring that back in a little bit with just a tone with pencil. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks good. Okay. I'm going to do the same there. Okay, this one, right, this is coming way over. Right underneath the jar. Right, right underneath the jar. Right underneath the jar. Kind of like coming out like little A's. It kind of looks like the letter A. Okay, cool. 